teacher for today. Before we start our discussion, may I request John to lead a prayer? Okay, you may all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we would learn how to listen attentively to the inputs of our teacher. May we appreciate her effort in imparting her knowledge to us. May we value each other's contribution as a building block towards harmony and peace. Grant that as we interact with one another, we recognize the fact that all of our learning activities should be accomplished for your greater glory. Grant that we recognize you in each of our classmates and teachers. As we leave for home, we pray that you keep us safe from harm and illnesses, and we would be able to apply correctly what we have learned from school. All this we ask in your powerful name. Amen. Okay, once again, good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. Is there any absent today? None, ma'am. Okay, none. Very good. Before we continue, let us recall our guidelines having a lesson in the classroom. Please read, everyone. Sit properly. Listen to the teacher. Raise your hand if you have a question. Yesterday, I gave you an assignment to research the types of technologies that may use in learning science. And you put it on in a clean bond paper, right? Yes, ma'am. So now, pass your output in Before we proceed to our lesson, let's conduct first a game entitled Name It to Win It. This set activity is also known as Rebus or Word Picture Puzzle, in which there is a picture representation of a name, word, or phrase. Each Rebus puzzle box portrays a common word or phrase and you will tell me what it is. Starts Just now. like this. Okay, did you get the mechanics of the game, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. First picture. Any guess? Okay, Joko, you raise your hand. Information, ma'am. Okay, correct. Next picture. Mark. Communication Pokemon. Nice, correct. Last picture. Rain. Technology Pan. Oh, excellent. Okay, you guys are amazing. And that's letters are connected to our topic today. Much for that. Now I will ask you to find some technologies or learning resources that are found in the classroom which are used in processing and transmission of information while learning science. As such, you will list three to five learning resources and its function in a one fourth sheet of paper. Time starts now. Time is up! Pass your paper in front of the row. So as you answer the activity, what are the technologies or learning resources that you listed? Projector, computer, internet, Wi-Fi, cell phone. Why are these technologies important, class? Because, ma'am, it can help or aid us in learning in science and also for me to innovate um, variety of ways in learning. So, all of your answers are correct and well done to your which is the characteristics of ICT resources in science. Information communication technology are enabling technologies which include both hardware and software that serve as a mode of education that use information and communication technology to support, enhance, and optimize the delivery of information. 
There are also ICT hardware utilized in learning and teaching sites, such as laptops, computers, data projectors, screens and boards, scan converters, and many more. On the other hand, ICT software includes spreadsheets like Excel, databases, digital camera as recording device, word processor like Microsoft Word, presentation programs like MS PowerPoint, virtual reality and simulators, and internet. In line with the internet, we can find also a web resources there for learning and teaching sites. The following are Kahoot, Discovery Education, Physics Classroom, Life Science, and many more. Now, let's talk about the benefits of ICT in science. First, students are more engaged in activities. Second, ICT can provide access to a huge range of resources that are high of quality and relevant to scientific learning. ICT also can provide and improve the quality of data available to the students. Okay, that's the end of our discussion. Now, you see the PowerPoint presentation tool in Microsoft with the same group I assigned in your quarterly project. Make a presentation of your day three observations. Capture a picture of it and paste it in the PowerPoint slide and put your observation below the picture. So the slide should only consist up to one to three slides. Submit your output after 10 minutes on my email, joycelorraine20 at gmail.com. Yet, if you can't make it on the time to submit, pass it tonight. The deadline is 11.59 p.m. Now, here is the rubrics for that. Time starts now! Okay, time's up! Finish or not finish, you may continue it on your vacant time. This time, I will ask you to answer this essay in a one-half sheet of paper crosswise. Here is the rubric for that. Okay, time's up. Pass your paper in front of the row. Okay, class, I will give you an assignment. With the same group I assigned in your quarterly project, make an infographic of your day 4 observations of it. You are free to use different software or platforms to create infographic, submit it on our next meeting, and use the rubric for you to be mindful of what is projected in the task. So that's all for today. Have a good day everyone. So don't forget your assignment tomorrow, huh? Goodbye! Bye-bye!